Hey guys, how you doing? It's Roo 3 Nanana today. I've got a bit of a dual commentary with you. I hope you go and like the video, please. Uh, first dual commentary I've ever done, the guy's called King Roo. Um, his channel link will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I worked fairly hard on it and I think it's quite a success. Uh, what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, the gameplay was from the subscriber checklist. I'm going to update the Facebook in a bit by crossing the name off. Uh, so be sure to check those out. I've got my Twitter and Facebook link in the description. So yeah, see you guys later. Roo399 signing out for a moment. Alright guys, how's it going? Ruth 3 Nanana today. I've got a bit of TDM on Modern Warfare 2 again. It's probably going to be one of the last videos you'll see that is on Modern Warfare 2. But today I've got something kind of special for you guys. I have a guest with me and uh, who do I have here? My name's King Roo. Uh, basically I post Call of Duty videos on my channel. And sometimes you'll see some Battlefield gameplay from me. And I just recently hit 300 subscribers which I'm really happy about. You bit that, have you? Yep. Uh, last time I saw you were on 200 and something, so I thought I'd get you on here, have a bit of a chat because I've, I've had a look at um, Andrew or King Roo's stuff. Um, I thought his name was funny because it's kind of similar to mine. Um, as, well, your name isn't King Roo, is it? But my name, my actual name's Roo, um, which makes me laugh a little bit. So I thought I'd get you on because I saw some of your videos and they were kind of cool. Um, you do all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, I thought I'd bring you on because you know I've. I, I've had my fair share of people helping me out, and I like helping other people out too. So, what did you want to talk about? You wanted to have a bit of a chat about Battlefield, didn't you? Well, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to Battlefield 3. Um, the beta was unbelievable. It's like I can't even describe how good the beta was. It was so fun playing it. Yeah, there were lots of glitches, but when you go into a good gameplay with friends, it was an awesome game. Yeah, I didn't play the beta too much. I tried to, but it, it ended up being a couple hours here and a couple hours there, which I guess you could say is a fair bit of time in the beta. But I found when I played, I just found a lot of glitches and that. So I guess we had different um, outlooks when the beta had ended. So what, you thought it was amazing, did you? You thought it was like you really excited for Battlefield? Yeah, and another thing is. Um, I did read somewhere about the beta, the game engine was months old or something, this was just mainly to stress test. Uh, EA have assured that all the glitches and bugs will be fixed, which is really good. And one really? of the biggest glitches, yeah, one of the biggest glitches I saw is um, near the bomb site, you can kind of go underneath the map. Oh, I saw bombs. that load, yeah. that annoyed me. But I'd go prone and I'd just sort of start falling. That, that really did annoy me. It, yeah. It's good though that they they said they, they're going to have that sorted out for when the game comes out. I mean, that's probably made me a lot more excited for it because I've never really played Battlefield too much. I know I've played a little bit of Bad Company too. Um, have you played any other other Battlefield games? Um, yeah, I've played all of them. Which, really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, probably one of my favourite ones was Battlefield 2, then Battlefield Bad Company 2. Yeah, I think uh, everybody says it's Battlefield 2, isn't it? Yeah, big step forward. Uh, one of the bad things about Battlefield Bad Company 2, though, is there was no jets. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have never uh, played Battlefield 2. I've only ever... Oh, well, I've actually only got a couple of hours playtime in Battlefield Bad Company 2, and I got that because I was oh, I'm basically waiting for Battlefield 3 to come out. Uh, trying to get better at the Battlefield games. I, I really don't know how I'm, I'm I'm sort of reacting to that because Battlefield 3 is going to be... I think it's completely different at Battlefield 2. And I've heard the games play out differently, don't they? Did you, did you see any differences between the the beta and the Bad Company 2 when you've played those? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, in Battlefield 3, there's definitely a lot more sort of teamwork going on. But I don't know if that's just because there's a beta. I remember in Battlefield Bad Company 2 when that beta was out, there was a lot of teamwork going on, but now people just sort of go off and do their own sort of things. Really? So yeah, I, I've always been a, a COD fanboy, me. I'm not a fanboy. Um, I, I, I just haven't played anything other than COD um, for the entire two years I've been on Xbox and PS3. Um, so, what do you think you're gonna you're gonna find uh, better and more fun to play um, in this next quarter of the year, um, Battlefield or Modern Warfare 3? Well, Modern Warfare 3 kind of seems like Modern Warfare 2 with m new maps. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the story. I know a lot of people don't play the story, but I'm really looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 story. But if it comes down to multiplayer, I'd say Battlefield 3 because it's so realistic and it's so awesome. 
Oh yeah, it was a, it was a coin flip for me that was because I saw that I saw both of the trailers at once, and um, I think for the multiplayer as well. Um, Battlefield 3's multiplayer just blows me away. I've never seen anything quite like it. Um, but then again, I it's the when the when the games release that that's a big tie for me because I'm only really going to be playing Battlefield for two or three weeks, and then Modern Warfare 3's out, and then. Like loads of people are going to be transferring over to you know, Modern Warfare 3, and if I do enjoy Battlefield 3, am I going to still like Call of Duty? I I really don't know how that's going to play out for me because I I know um you know Modern Warfare and Call of Duty as a whole really is just like it's this big thing and everybody everybody plays that um and I think I remember I remember actually trying a a bit of Battlefield Bad Company too. I think I rented it one time for a week. And played with a couple of friends, and I think just because I was used to playing Call of Duty, I, I just couldn't get into the the whole Battlefield thing. Um, I, I I guess you could say I'm kind of worried um, that Battlefield's going to make me turn, if if you know what I mean. Uh, do Do you think? Uh, in, in fact, how much how much time have you had on either console? Have you had like more on Modern Warfare than Battlefield? Um. Well, on console, I've probably had more. Uh... I've had played Call of Duty a lot longer on console, but on PC I've definitely played a lot of Battlefield Bad Company too when it yeah. first came out. Yeah, I know. I know Battlefield is a game that is sort of it's looked um, more highly upon on the consoles. Yeah, um, I, I took a look at some of the specifications. I think it was just the minimum requirements as well for your PC to play Battlefield 3 effectively, and they were just like up there. They were you know huge specs. Well, they looked it to me anyway. Um, so, it, so the things I'm used to seeing that the, the specifications needed were just large, you know, and like gaming yeah. computers and all that. Um, I I'm really not sure how how the two games are going to play out. As I said, like you know, Battlefield's going to be out for a short time, then Modern Warfare Three is coming out. Um, I, I don't know. Right, let's ask let's ask the audience here. Um, right, guys, go ahead and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. With again, what do you think is going to be better? Um, weigh your options and uh, opinions up on what me and uh, King Roo here have discussed. And uh, if you'd like to go ahead and check out his channel, I shall leave a link in the description to that, as well as um, a couple of trailers for the two Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3 things, just in case you haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, have you got anything to sort of round up with, uh, Andrew? Uh, thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right, guys. I shall see you when I see you. I don't know when this video is going up, but uh, yeah. See you tomorrow.